Unreal Blueprints, working with level blueprint. Let's review what we know so far. Blueprints is a visual scripting language included in Unreal. Each blueprint, which we create as a subclass of an existing class, an actor, within a particular level, includes graph, which are collections of nodes, nodes, which are defined functionality. We connect nodes using wires between their pins. When we connect the execution pins of different nodes, we define a sequence of functionality that moves from one, row, one node to the next to the next. And then, as mentioned before, we create blueprints by creating subclasses of an existing class, usually of existing actors. And this allows us to respond to different events using the event graph that is built into all existing blueprints, as well as we can create variables, functions, and event dispatchers, as we've covered in previous videos. So in this video, let's talk about a useful functionality that we will build on in future videos. This video is going to just discuss it as well as discuss a little bit of how to use it. So each level has its own blueprint, which kind of makes sense. Everything within Unreal has a corresponding blueprint you can create. You can create a subclass of anything you can create it within Unreal, and this includes the level itself. So all levels have their own blueprints. So this is built into every level. When you create a new level, it automatically has its own blueprint, and we can access this blueprint by going to Blueprints, Open Level Blueprint, if the level is already open within the Unreal Editor. And just because it's like every other blueprint, we can also add our own variables, functions, event dispatchers, and a number of other things. We use it as if it was any other blueprint. However, unique to the level blueprint, blueprint is the ability to easily reference content and actors in the level. So one way to think about this is within the metaphor of the level blueprint having access to all of the actors within it. We can very easily reference things instead of needing to create a variable and then create a reference, create an, an actor reference, or create a reference to that subclass. Instead, we can select an actor in the world outliner, open the level blueprint, and immediately use that reference to that actor. So one way to think about this is the level blueprint being sort of above and the actors being below, even though that isn't technically the case. So as mentioned before, with this sort of metaphor of the level blueprint being above or having access to all the actors within the level, this allows us to very easily communicate with and pass data between other actors. So instead of those actors necessarily needing references to each other, they could potentially, we can potentially from the level blueprint uh, at level, from a level blueprint uh, layer, communicate down to things like other actors. Now we can't communicate up, which is a little bit tricky. So other actors don't have reference to the level, but the level has reference to other actors. So potentially if things are occurring at the level layer, things like triggers, or we need to reference something, or we need to load something within the level, we can correspondingly spawn off different things or communicate or use custom events or event dispatchers from the level blueprint layer down to the actors. But again, the actors can't go up, which of course makes perfect sense. So the level blueprint is a great place for code that references multiple other actors. Again, as mentioned, spawning on overlap, things like that. Um, because it can also receive events using custom events or event dispatchers. It can also keep track of data or potentially relay data between actors. If we wanted to sort of uh, communicate at a network level, we could do that as part of the level blueprint instead of individually at the different actors levels. But this just gives us a greater possibility of how we want to reference and use things. If things are happening at the level layer, we want, might want to do things at that level within that blueprint. Um, but of course, we can always use the blueprints within particular actors. So let's look at Unreal about accessing and using the level blueprint. So moving over to Unreal, we will see I have my starter content open. I have my cube I've moved previously. I'll show you right here. And of course, I've got a blueprint for it. So if I want to access the level blueprint for this level that I currently have open, uh, blueprints right here down to open level blueprint, then it will open the blueprint editor. Now notice the level doesn't have a viewport. It doesn't have things it shows, right? It doesn't have any visual aspect because it's the level. There's nothing to show. Everything in it has its own visual counterparts. So it is a blueprint. It has its own, notice my blueprint right here. It has graphs, functions, macros, variables, event dispatchers, and it has its own event graph. So it can do various things, but it is not um, a visual aspect. Now, as mentioned before, we can easily access existing actors within the world outliner when moving over to the level blueprint. 
So let's look at that here. So let's say I want to reference this cube right here. So my cube is selected. And then let's say I had previously selected the cube and now I want to do something with the floor. So I've selected floor over here in the world outliner, my little floor right here. And now I want to do something with it in the level blueprint. So let's reopen level blueprint. Okay. I'm going to right click. So right click to add nodes. And then notice right here, it says add event for floor, call function for floor, create a reference to floor. So whatever we have selected within the world outliner will automatically be selected within the level blueprint. This is incredibly useful for, as mentioned before, creating things that happen at the level blueprint layer, such as spawning things on overlap, using various network functionality, anything that might need a direct reference to that, we can just create. Notice we're not creating extra variables, we're just automatically creating a reference to it that only exists within the level blueprint layer. So particularly useful for communicating between actors, transferring data, setting up various things that may happen at the begin play. So when the level is initially loaded, it should kick off a bunch of things perhaps, or maybe when the level is shutting down, it should kick off a bunch of things, or we even use event tick to do various things. At a certain points in time, certain things happen within the level. So all these are particularly useful in things we can use that exist within the level blueprint. And again, we access it through blueprints and then open level blueprint for that corresponding level, assuming the level is open within the Unreal Editor.